Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Utandio Brenda Wagwazuma and I am about to present to you a passion project, something that is really close to my heart. I have been hinting at the fact that I am going to start filming or recording a series of sit-downs. Today I have a special guest as a member of the first episode. Uh, I have someone who's close to my heart, someone who knew what my heart beats like when I'm happy, when I'm sad, when I'm ecstatic, and when I'm going through the utmost. I have my daughter, and we are going to be having a very candid conversation about what it is like to see the world through the eyes of a 12-year-old in this current time that we are living in. I'm not going to take the spotlight away from her. I'm going to allow her to introduce herself. I present to you the daughter. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Tell them what your name is. Sipupendo. And how old are you? 12 years old. Are you nervous about today? Yes. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Uh, we are just going to have an open conversation. Mom is interested to know how you think about things. If or maybe do you think about things the way that I used to think about things when I was your age? Has your outlook or perspective on life changed since back then when I was growing up? And I suppose I also just want to get to know you a little bit better. Uh, and this is me also being vulnerable and placing myself opposite you and letting everybody who knows me and those who don't necessarily know me uh, see me in my seat as a mom. So guys, in front of us we have some treats we've got some marshmallows that will nibble on we have some popcorn yum and then we have from Woolies some passionade okay so we're gonna get started so guys what I've done is I've put together a series of questions that I'm going to ask my daughter uh, she's going to answer them to the best of her ability and will get to hear what it is like to be a 12 year old and how 12 year olds think in these times in comparison to when we were growing up let's get into it all right the first question what is your most prized possession and why i don't really have a prized position everything that i have is not worth too much <laughs> uh -huh. so i wouldn't really pick one okay so what's your favorite item in your room right now um my phone your phone <laughs> and why why is your phone your favorite it keeps me connected to the rest of the world especially during when it was locked down awesome okay cool and what is your favorite meal you need take out <laughs> and your food and your food oh any takeout and mm. my food so what is my what is the favorite food that i make that you would say is your absolute favorite chicken chicken <laughs> okay um let's speak louder now yes and then question three what qualities do you look for in a friend loyalty loyalty yes snap okay tell me what you think what is loyalty to you like especially like during lockdown mm. some of them are just disappeared now <laughs> if they were loyal then they were gonna stay but now they're just gone <laughs> i agree i agree i think loyalty is important because it also t it tests how deep your connection is with somebody if they can be loyal to you and they can stick around during tough times that makes somebody a good friend so top five to that okay if you had a thousand rand to spend what would you buy it's a tough one um hmm. i would pick to move my room a little bit less dull Mm. Now the color is white. It used to be purple. Now it's white. Now it's like a bit empty. Ah, so you want to make over your room, mm. make it a little more you. Yes. Personalize your room. Yes. 
Awesome. Okay. I hear you. And what would you like to do when you grow up? I want to be a pilot. A pilot? And yeah. fly people around? Yes. <laughs> Hello. Uh, yeah, that looks, that looks better. There you go. Okay. Okay. Let's start again. What would you like to do when you grow up? Um, I want to be a pilot. Have you always wanted to be a pilot? Yes. Why? The sky, something about it fascinates me. Ah, I love that. I love that. Yeah, guys, basically this is something that she's been consistent on. So I'm starting to believe that perhaps we will start to see the first pilot in either of our families from dad's side or mine pretty excited about that one watch the space fam i'll be being, i'll be flying courtesy of my daughter <laughs> all right what do you like to do more what most do you like to do with me with you yeah going out going out yeah okay like like, uh, like monday oh okay so when she says like Monday guys, so what we do is we usually uh, one go out together as mother and daughter just to kind of connect, have lunch or breakfast or whatever it is. So it would appear that is the winning formula. She likes to go out with me when it's just the girls. <laughs> All right. What were your greatest achievements and disappointments in the last year? Disappointment was becoming lazy. Lazy? Yeah. <laughs> How are you a lazy person? Lazy, like just not doing much during mm -hmm. like lockdown and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was the same for your academics? Yes. You found yourself struggling a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what was your achievements? Um, making it through 2020. <laughs> without getting corona <laughs> i will high five to that sister like making it through 2020 and still standing without covid is a hell of an achievement but i'd also say you passed grade six mm -hmm. and you're now in grade seven so that was also an achievement i mean in that year we were struggling quite a bit uh, to get into the routine of it so that was also an achievement for you okay and the next one is who are two of your role models and why? Mm -hmm. um, you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because you have confidence that I don't have. You think so? Yes. I think you have confidence. I just think you, it just needs to still come out of you. Mm -hmm. And it'll happen as you grow older. But I think I like that answer. And who's your other one? I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm your only role model. <laughs> what does beauty mean to Sipepelo? Inside. Inside. Mm. Tell us more. Being nice, not being Ugly, helping other people, um, having a good personality and just being a good person on the inside before you think about what's on the outside. Oh, I like that. So guys, I think that's a very important point that she touched on. Uh, beauty is so often defined or described to be what we see on the outside, but it is really encouraging to hear that even at the age of 12, my daughter thinks that beauty is what sits inside because you need to be able to be a nice person, to be somebody that people can identify with, to be somebody that people can look up to, to be somebody that people actually want to gravitate towards. And in order for you to be able to do that, you have to have to radiate a light. You know, light attracts light. Beauty attracts beauty. 
and we can do a hell of a lot to our outer beauty to make ourselves look presentable and to look a certain way but there is really not much you can do if your inside is not aligned to what we define to be beauty in this day so i think that is a really critical one that she touched on right and the next question is what makes you sad about being a girl in this day and age this age mm. um being at this age like like turning 13 already being 13 way like what i said before it's about the looks it's about mm. who's thin and who's pretty and who's getting the gigs and who's getting the the likes and who's popular wow wow guys um i think that's another one that she's actually kind of hit the nail on the head on uh, so what she's saying is at this age, it's actually what saddens her about this age is the pressure that comes with having to look a certain way, who has the most likes, who's popular at school uh, in this day and age of TikTok, uh, social media. It's all about how many followers do you have, how many likes do you get. So the pressures of growing up in this day and age are actually a lot more elevated than when we were growing up. We didn't have social media. We didn't have cyberbullying. So the only form of bullying that you would actually experience would be face to face at school. But I think it is a lot more toxic and a lot more hurtful if somebody's going to be coming at you through social media and actually drumming up a lot of support from other people. So I think what she has said is actually quite saddening. And I think she'll also agree with me that what's also really, really scary and really sad about being a girl at this day and age is she can't really go out with freedom and walk on the streets because there's all kinds of incidents that we hear about. You know, a 13 year old girl walking the streets on her own is a target to traffickers, to rapists. You know, we live in an age where it is really, really scary to be a girl. So it really encourages me that she's consciously aware of the challenges that are around her and I, for one, am really a proud mommy. All right. Okay, Pepe. Uh, and the next question is, if you were to become the president for a day, what would you like to change and why? The whole government. <laughs> they all... They're all old and they, especially during this corona time, they don't know what they're doing. They, they haven't even thought as far as what they're going to do with the vaccines. They're rushing now. They mm. just don't know. There's no fresh blood there. Mm. Mm. Guys, I've got a, I kind of agree with her. I think it's been widely spoken. Uh, and it's quite scary when you look up the average age of a member of parliament. I think it's high time that the younger generation stepped in uh, fresh minds fresh perspectives i think COVID uh, and how we've responded to it could have been so much different uh, if we had a different set of minds put together and thinking logically and thinking long term uh, there's absolutely no excuse why we why we still find ourselves with under 300 people vaccinated in our country uh, when we are amongst the highest COVID rated com countries. I mean, in Africa, we are leading the pack. So definitely, I vote for that. If my daughter was the president for one day, she would clean out that entire cabinet and bring in some fresh blood, honey. <laughs> All right. Um, and the last question is, what do you love most about your mom? The ability to speak in public <laughs> that I don't have. <laughs> I think she's bringing this one up again, guys. Um, I don't know. Like, personally, I think she's got confidence. Uh, I just think she doubts herself quite a bit. And that's something I also struggled with at her age. I always tell her that I actually came out of my shell and openly started speaking uh, when I was in grade 8. 
when I started to do public speaking and debate, it was in grade eight. Before that, I would have never dreamed of speaking openly and publicly. I hated the idea of doing orals at school because I just could not bring myself to articulate myself and speak with all of those eyes on me. So I think it's something we can work on. I mean, if I listen to her now and she recites her orals to me, she speaks really well. She speaks loudly with confidence. She just needs to believe in herself and, 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 and understand that everybody is willing to give you a chance. If you have something that you believe that people should hear, you kind of boost yourself internally to the point where you want people to listen and sit up. And that, com that comes with a certain articulation and confidence in delivery of what it is that you want to say. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that segment of our sit down with my daughter. Uh, we are going to be doing something else in this video, something really lighthearted. Uh, we are going to be playing a game right now uh, where we are going to ask a series of questions again and what we will do right now is we will use this blackboard and chalk to write down the answer so how it's going to go is i'm going to ask a question she and i will both get an opportunity to write the answer in terms of what we think the other will say and then the person will give the answer and then we'll do a reveal to see how well we know each other I'm quite anxious and nervous about this one, guys, because every time I've played this game, I always come up short and it always makes me feel so terrible that I should know this person. But I also feel like these questions are really, really out there and really rogue in the sense that it's not something that you would focus on knowing about somebody. But anywho, I don't think my daughter and I have any excuse. We've known each other all our lives, so <laughs> we should get this right. Uh, all right, let's get into it. But before that, let's have a sip of our drinks, girl. <laughs> let's have a sip of our... Mmm, smells beautiful. Clean, clean. Excuse the noise if you do hear some noise in the background. There are some player haters that are making a noise within this house. <laughs> okay, let me find the questions that we are going to be working on today. Mm. Where are these questions? Sure. Okay. No. Right. So the name of the game is How well do you know your mother or how well do you know your daughter? Wish us luck guys. I hope I come up on top. I'm very competitive that way guys. Like I mean, I'm really competitive. So I want to beat this young lady. Do we look the same guys? Like do we look the same in our matching outfits? <laughs> All right. The first question is what is your favorite color? What is my favorite color? So you're going to write down my favorite color and I'm going to write down yours. You're writing down mine? Yeah, I'm writing down yours. And you must write down mine. My handwriting is not getting me. <laughs> Mine is a mess too, don't worry. Oh guys, I'm not sure about this one. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Her favorite colors change, guys. In my defense, they change. <laughs> okay. Alright, what is your favorite color? <laughs> What's your favorite color? Purple. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay, guys, it's not going too well for me. One pepper, zero mom. 
We'll come back. We'll come back, fam. The second question is, what is your mother's or daughter's favorite flavor of ice cream? Wow. <laughs> wow, that's a, a tough one. Hmm. Just I think I say that, that I know. <laughs> This is Hi. tough. This is a tough one. Don't peep. I'm not peeping. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite ice cream? <laughs> oh yeah, vanilla. What's yours? Vanilla. <laughs> Hey, oh, we basic. That was we basic. <laughs> we them basics, you know. We don't go out there and be adventurous with ice cream. <laughs> this reminds me of the one we had on Sunday with that horrible chocolate. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the third question is What is your mother, daughter, favorite flower? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Do you even have one? Mm. 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 Don't peek. I'm not. <laughs> um, I am <I'm> scared. <laughs> I'm not confident here, guys. So not confident. I don't even know if this is spelled <laughs> Okay. Okay, what's your favorite flower? Rose. Oh, oh, oh. What's yours? Orchid. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she's on a roll, guys. She's on full marks. I gotta catch up, man. I gotta catch up, fam. I gotta catch up. Alright. What is your mother's or daughter's favorite food? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Don't you already know now? Yours. Mm. Yeah, but you didn't tell me. You said takeouts. Mm. <laughs> I have to be specific which takeouts. Um, Pick something that's here that I eat here. At home. Mm. Mm, make it easier. Okay. Um, sure, this is tough. Wow. What are these questions? <laughs> what are these questions? These questions are out here to destroy us. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite food? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Close. What's your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is chicken. Chicken oil. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, I feel terrible. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> yo, I'm a mess, guys. Like, yo, I'm too wrong. You still it. <laughs> She's consoling me. She's like, I still have time. This is terrible. Okay. What is your mother's or daughter's favorite animal? Yeah, I doubt you even know. Yours. Mm. <laughs> you have one? But, mm. <laughs> oh my god. Um, hmm. I'm gonna get the syndrome. <laughs> They'll win for you. Um. Okay. What's your favorite animal? Lion. Yo! <laughs> Dog! Dog! What's your favorite animal? Fish. Lion. <laughs> She's wrong, guys. Well, we both are. But that puts me at three wrong and her at only one. 
And the next question is, what is your mother's or daughter's favorite season? Mm, that's easy. What? Yeah, like season of the year. Oh. I mean, I hope. I can't write I, after saying that's easy. I, <laughs> that would be embarrassing. Very embarrassing. <laughs> after confidently saying easy. Okay. What's your favorite season? Summer. Ah, uh -huh. What's your favorite season? Summer. <laughs> okay. Is there more? Yes. Uh, what is your mother's or daughter's favorite restaurant? Do I even have one? Sure. I think I do. You do? Mm. Okay. I hope it's this one. Otherwise, I'm a mess. Mm -hmm. A heel. We haven't been there in a minute. <laughs> we haven't been in a lot of places in a minute, so um, that doesn't really help me. Um, I don't know how to. I'm going to feel you, man. Yes. <laughs> well, how does it go again? Um... <laughs> this one's wrong because I can't remember the one now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mess. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay. What's your favorite restaurant? Spa. Oh yeah, your favorite restaurant. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite restaurant? <laughs> you don't even have one. My favorite restaurant is Primi. Yo! <laughs> yeah, you said you. Hi. <laughs> I thought she wasn't gonna get that one, guys. Like, okay, all right. She knows me. She knows me. Okay. What is your mother's or daughter's favorite holiday destination? Mm. Um. Hmm? <laughs> This seems way too long to be true. <laughs> hey, okay. Okay, what's your answer? The place you go the most, don't we? Uh, guys, guys. Mine is Durban. Mine is way Okay, she got something wrong, guys. She got something wrong, guys. Okay. Um, what is your mother's or daughter's favorite place to shop? And she's gonna get this one. Sure. What did? You... But my daughter doesn't shop, guys. <laughs> okay. I'm going to write where you like to browse. Is that okay? <laughs> she doesn't shop, guys. She doesn't shop, so I feel like <laughs> I'm just going to take a gamble and write where I think she spends most of her time window shopping online. <laughs> I don't even go. I don't even touch the buy button. <laughs> What's yours? That's so you have to give the answer first. What? No, what's your answer? What's my answer? Yeah, what's your answer? Where do you like to shop? Uh, probably take a lot. Uh -huh, guys, take a lot. Take a lot. <laughs> Yours? Superbalist. It's the same thing. It's the same, <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get that one right. Uh uh, darling. Uh uh, darling. You're catching up on the wrongs. Um, second last question. 
what is your mother's or daughter's least favorite chore? I know this because, wow. <laughs> it's the chore that you just get up and you, ah, it's my chore. <laughs> Okay. Okay. What's your answer? Um, dishes. <laughs> dishes, guys. I got that one right. And yours? Dishes. <laughs> what is that? But three. <laughs> no, no, but that's, that's actually another good one. But, honey, I trained them up to wash dishes strategically. <laughs> because... Uh, Ain't nobody got time for dishes. Exactly, <laughs> hands in your damn. <laughs> and the last question. Who is your mother's or daughter's best friend? Yeah, it's changed. Yours. Yes. I know. I hope the person I'm writing is the new mm. one. That much <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay. There's two. Let's put two. Oh, okay. Let's put two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your best friend? Kanya. And? <laughs> you. <laughs> I said Kanya and Leila. <laughs> okay. And who's yours? Busi. Busi Siwe. And. Sheesh. I don't know. Kotha. <laughs> Is that how you spell it? Kothia. Okay. With an A at the end. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So, guys, so guys, this is how we ended off. I hope you guys enjoyed our little sit down. Uh, we wish you everything of the best this year, and to all the mothers out there, try as much as you can to spend as much time as you humanly can with your little ones. Uh, especially the working mommies we know all of the hard work that goes into uh, building a career becoming a mom so nobody don't put so much pressure on yourself whenever you can it's really about the quality of time and not so much about the quantity of time uh, we hope you guys are enjoying or have enjoyed your Easter holidays uh, and please be safe guys we are still struggling with COVID uh, COVID-19 is still a real reality so stay home as much as you can if you're going to go out there uh, wear a mask keep your social distance and sanitize your hands fam I know that because we are now officially a year into it we're starting to uh, let our guard down a little bit but it's still very important to maintain your safe social distance uh, and hopefully we should be able to overcome this thing uh, by the end of this year uh, we're hoping that our government is going to come up with a better strategy to get us vaccinated uh, but let us know what you think of this video sound off down below in the comment section um, what is your favorite part of this video uh, what are some of the favorite answers that you got out of it uh, what do you like to do uh, with your child your son your daughter if you are a mother uh, and above all else uh, let us know for, just let us know in terms of what you would like to see on this channel uh, if you would like us to collaborate again uh, what would you like us to take on uh, but for now from my daughter and i we are going to sound off 
eat some of our popcorn and some of our marshmallows and sip on our mocktails. Stay safe, fam. Bye.